Hi guys, it's Hope from Cedar Hollow Gardens, and I'm out here at the back bed that the superhero camera guys um, made for me. And I want to show you, you got to come close to this is small. I want to show you what's going on here. These are my radishes that I planted three weeks ago with true leaves. These are some radishes I planted a week ago. And down this end, I've got some turnip and rutabaga. And just barely coming up, I have a couple things of peas. Just barely coming. So they're very small. And on the side, I did plant, but I just planted a couple days ago. So there's nothing really here except stuff to be cleaned up. But I wanted to show you, um, superhero camera guy doesn't maintains that I am the gardener, but he planted this garlic for me, which is wonderful because last year I forgot. And also, these were our lettuces. They are now about an inch or two tall, and they started November 12th undercover the way Jess from Roots and Refuge did in those plastic planter boxes. And I'm also going to show you the ones up front. We're going to take a walk to the front of the yard now. We also have a few spinaches in there. But I don't see them now. <coughs> oh, and i got to show you what's growing on in my winter sewing jugs. Because there is stuff. Lots of things have sprouted. Unfortunately, when I did this group, I didn't label them on the outside. But you can get a good look at the insides. And let's see if I can figure out what this is. Viral fly spinach, so that'll be plenty of spinach for me. This one says bachelor's button flowers. I mean, there's the first 22 jugs I did, pretty much all except a couple have sprouts in them already. So, in a couple weeks, I'll be able to get those out and get some growth. Um, These ones I just planted a couple days ago. So there's no sprouts, but I got smart and so labeled those on the outside as well. But I'm going to have, um, my squash hasn't blossomed yet, but it is a warmer weather crop, and it just got to 70 here today for the first time. So all my cool weather greens are doing great, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, so we're also going to walk toward the front and show you what's happening up there and another planter box that the super narrow camera guy has for me. Give us a second to get a pot. I'm very excited about that. Ugh. Use the mess. We got to clean the yard for spring. We'll get there. This is the soil that I'm using because I like it because it's got earthworm castings and bat guano, which I know the worm castings are more sustainable, but it's the best soil I can find available in my local area. So this is compulsive leaves because these are small. This is the true leaves on the radishes. Then here's some more sprouts of radishes that I got in. And in this corner, this corner, and probably this corner, from over here, I am going to plant a couple of these romaine lettuces so because they, they need a little more room than they got in here. But as you see, these are my um, storage box overwintered lettuce. So pretty soon, time to start eating it. So I'm very excited. So you get to see me split them up and replant. They've been hardened off quite well because we open them every day that it's warm and sunny so pretty soon we'll be eating from these and that will be wonderful our first harvest in probably a week and these are all romaine and then also i had three i had this one full of romaine because miss franz turtle only eats green romaine but here um my hubby put in some safflower seeds <laughs> unbeknownst to me so it looks like I'm going to have a bed of safflower for the birds those are an orange flower and the seeds the, the birds absolutely adore so 
I needed a little bit more lettuce out so we can get some rope room for these guys and get some good harvests. And that's all I've got for you today from Cedaholic Gardens. Thanks for joining me on this little tour with my dirty fingers. <laughs> and I hope that you will like, subscribe, share, comment below, and come visit me next time. In order to do that, you need to ring the notification bell. When you ring it, it'll notify you of when the next video is available. And it's raining. Oh, goodness. A lot of people don't like the rain, but I'm going to get my hands washed this way. And I'm going to get my plants watered. So I love it. See you guys next time. Take care. Goodbye.